This is Enlightened Shadow, and welcome to my Captain Princess SMK3 Forge tutorial. Um, I just released my newest screen pack, uh, the new HD one, and people are asking about how do we make these new uh, portraits for this movie, so everyone can go ahead and play with their own characters and what they want. So, I'm going ahead and doing a tutorial on how I do it using the program Fireworks. Uh, we're going to do Cody over here. So, I already have the image. He's already cropped out, so everything's transparent around him. So there's that's most of the work actually. So getting that out of the way, you already have your image. Let's go ahead and copy him. And let's start out with uh, the big one, the the one zero zero one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is take some him. He's on his own layer over here. But as you can tell, he's kind of huge. Yeah, it's not really going to work out that well. He, your image may be small. Doesn't really matter the size. Uh, what you want to do, since uh, I already included the template with uh, Keo in it, just go ahead and try and match him. Uh, make everything the same about the same size so it matches him and he works well. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to go to the corner here. Get your selection tool. Hold shift. This will keep the aspect ratio the right size. Go ahead and move him down. So this way he doesn't get a squished feeling, just gets the right size for him. Get him down to the right size. And we'll go ahead and get him set up. I'm going to zoom in here. And we're going to try to match his head to Kyo's head. So I'm going to try to make the transparent so I can go ahead and see him. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, make him a bit smaller. The red side is a little bit smaller. About there. So I'm going to change, modify him a little bit, transform, mesh transformation. All I'm going to do is just rotate him a little bit. There we go. And let's put his head where he is. So, if you go see him, we're going to notice that their head is, is very similar in size here. That's what we want. A little bit smaller just because um, his fist is rather large in this picture. Down underneath that layer. Okay. Let's get rid of that cube. So this is the first part. And then now we're just going to move over to the top part right here. So let's take that one. Copy him. And paste it. Alright. So the top one's a little bit smaller. So let's go ahead and modify transform horizontal. Just to make him face the right face. You can tell he's kind of still too big, right? He doesn't quite fit. So again, hold the shift button, move it down. Now he's a little bit too small, so he's going to be a little bigger. There we go. And let's get him under the layer with all the little switch icons. Try to make him about the same kind of face structure size as Keo. That way it fits and matches the rest of the crew. So his chin is right matching the top of his head. Doesn't have to be perfect, but pretty close. Make that bigger, make that transparent. So the other thing is that uh, you want his head to go over the diamond section here. Keep him there. Keep his arm out. It doesn't really matter. You can go ahead and leave that there just as is. But let's get rid of the rest of him here. It's going to erase him. Alrighty. Cool. So now with him, as you can tell, Alright, cool. Now, 
almost done with uh, the big portrait here. As you can tell, already similar to the one I had. But the only thing is that I add another layer of uh, a do a drop shadow on the image. So I go here, add an effect shadow, drop shadow, and make that 20, no, make that 17. There we go. the same thing. There we go. So there he is. There's the first portrait for it. Let's go ahead and save that one. This one is named Cody. Now I put them all in one folder. Uh, just name him the character's name and then space 001 for the large portrait. Uh, this makes it easier when you go ahead and import them to, to move in. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab him again. Now we're going to make the, the life bar portrait. The same principle applies, as you can tell, it's all layered out. This is the, port, the template I gave. Just go ahead and uh, put the picture there. There he is. We need to make his head a little bit bigger, so it's going to be a little transparent so you can see if it matches closely, if it's too big or not. So this one's currently a little bit too big. Maybe a little bit smaller. Shadow should still be there from the last one. There shouldn't be too much things you have to worry about there. So maybe look a little weird to see where his head is actually placed, but not too much about that. Alright, so good enough. Let's go ahead and uh, change the drop shadow though. Back to, to 7. That's it, that's it for the life bar portrait, so let's go ahead and save that. I'm saving it as PNGs, I should probably mention that. Alright, one last time. So now we're going to do the small, small portrait. The one for the select screen. But this is a weird way for his face to be turned. Actually, this is the wrong portrait since this is the Capcom side. I should probably put everything over. So, give me a second. Again, same principle applies. So let's paste the code here. But as you can tell, still too big. Not worth it. It's gonna look weird when I put them down there. Just yep. So again, make it transparent. Try to match them up to the template picture. Chin, eyes, make sure both eyes are in there. Make sure the image does not get squished. So keep the aspect ratio. And 
that should hit the, the order. Okay, we have to change the uh, drop shadow. I left it too big. So let's change that to... Now the reason that this is different from most of them is because this is going to be a high resolution image when it goes into the character. Let's go ahead and save him. Name Cody 001. 000. Okay, so from here we're going to go over to Photoshop and just open up the same files. So you can see Cody 000, 001, and 002. And hold control to select them all. Put them right next to each other so it makes it easier. So I'm going to say open. For me, I'm just going to say okay. So this is going to flatten all the layers but keep the transparency. So this is new to 1.1. Uh, Instead of indexing them, we're just going to go image, mode, 16 bit, file, save as, PNG, but let's just go ahead and get rid of that. And then save. It. And then we're just going to repeat for the rest of them. So image, mode, 16-bit, file, save as, PNG, and one more time. Alright, and that's it for creating the portraits. Um, the next thing we have to do is just go ahead and import them. Uh, we'll get into that just one second here. I keep the original PNGs just as they are so I can come back and edit them if I don't like the way they're there. So, right, so that's part one to my tutorial. That's just creating them, making them, getting them ready. The next is actually how to import them and save your character so it works as in 1.1 with PNG files. Alright, so stay tuned for the next one.